Well, I got an otter alive here. Um, when I put the catch pole, or the, the catch rod out, drowning rod, I knew that there was no way he's gonna drown in you know that much water. But I wanted to get him out here where he wasn't tangled up on the bank and you know ruin the set and uh, you know possibly twist out. So, anyways, uh, he's alive, but it was designed that way. Um, there's all kinds of otter scat, toilet. They're going up into a field. I blind sent them up in there, and uh, you know um, they've you know had some difficulties with these otters. So to get one that we're pulling tomorrow to get one here finally is uh, pretty satisfying. But uh, we've learned a lot about otter trapping, and we'll be doing lives talking about it and stuff like that. So uh, stay tuned for our lives. Um, you know we put them cameras on there and cameras don't lie just people do so um, I'm gonna dispatch this otter and uh, reset it for another one hopefully one comes through tonight well we got the otter dispatched dispatch he got all tangled up in that which was the reason for using the rod getting him off the bank but this is all uh, hooked up here or uh, well, we can just put the set right back in here Holy crap. Got a good catch on him. When you're setting these spots, it's like when you're setting a beaver, everybody wants, you know, a lot of pressure on the pan. When you're setting for otter, they move so quick. Um, you just want to have it a light pan on them and you get catches like that if you start running a heavy pan you're gonna have misses or what you're gonna have is uh, toe catches so
just fencing them in to get them to come right through there. Looks like so. Maybe even tighten it up a little bit on this side. You can block them, you know, so you might as well block them. But uh, guys, gals, there's a lot more to otter trapping um, than going out and trapping beaver. Like, say you're trapping beaver with the 330, you happen to catch an otter. That doesn't make you an otter trapper. I mean, you get a trapper that caught an otter. And they, are, they go around stuff like you wouldn't believe. We got a lot of videos we're going to be showing. Um, even footholds, they're buried. They, they go up and smell them. Um, you know, if you want to be a better otter trapper, um, than just getting lucky and catching one in a beaver set, you know, stay tuned because we'll be uh, covering a lot of the stuff that we've learned.